hello. How are you doing? Hi, I'm really well, Victoria. How are you? I am good. We are going to talk about five ways we can enrich our harp learning and playing away from the harp. Well, I've got to start with my number one top tip of ways to enrich your harp playing away from the harp, and that is listening. So going to hear harpists play, be inspired by hearing harpists play, supporting other harpists play. Um, it's, it can inspire you. It's the support that you give to someone else when you go and, and see their concert. But not just harp players, music. Going out and listening to all different types of music and really just enriching your musical knowledge opening up your musical horizons and understanding and really kind of soaking up all those different ideas and all the different creativity. I absolutely love going and listening to live music. So if you can go out and listen to something live, amazing. There's lots of different opportunities to listen to things online now on Zoom, which is also fantastic. So any way that you can get out there and listen to music. but. Also beyond that, listening to music, other people playing the harp and other people playing music, but also actually listening to the pieces that you're trying to play. Mm. Um, so you can still be learning without your fingers actually touching those strings because you're still absorbing that music by listening to the repertoire that you are working on. So that has to be my number one top tip is listen. And is one of my favorite things to do too, because I find that when I go to a concert or listen to a concert online, I feel very energized after yeah. that experience. And it's such a nice yeah. thing. And couldn't agree more too about listening to the music that we are learning. Uh, it helps me get the tune into my head. Great tip. Um, mm. I like to do harp journaling to reflect on my own learning and write down inspirations that I got from others. After I go to a concert, I usually have a lot of ideas that I want to jot down. Um, and I also like to just make a, a note of what I'm doing in my harp journey so that I have something to go back to and mm -hmm. then uh, remind myself how much progress I have made over the years. So this is my third year doing a harp journal now. So it's kind of nice to have that to go back to. And then more importantly, I use the harp journal to plan as well. A concert that you're hosting for your students in How to Harp. So I'm planning how I'm gonna prepare myself uh, to perform and I'm using my harp journal to track my progress. Brilliant. Yeah, journaling is so helpful, isn't it? And such a great way to reflect and think about things. My next top tip is attending, I've written down attending lectures. I think that that sounds very formal, doesn't it? Go and listen to a lecture. But I guess um, what I mean by that is I've talked about listening to people sharing their music, but also listening to people sharing their knowledge and sharing their life story and sharing their background and listening to people, specialists who can feed into your heart playing who maybe aren't harpists or who have a certain perspective on their harp playing. So for example, um, you know, a talk on performance anxiety and how to overcome those things, or a talk from a physiotherapist um, or a massage specialist, um, or these kind of things that can help, help you with the extra musical factors of your playing. And that's like a name that I've just coined because they're extra musical because they add to your musicality, the way that you use your body, the way that you use your mind, it all adds to your music. So it's extra musical. So I think that can really heighten harp experience. I love that. And so along that similar line, one of the things I love to do is listening to podcasts. It's not nearly as interactive as just going to a guest lecturer where you have the opportunity to ask questions. Um, but it's still very much helpful. There are some podcasts out there that I like to uh, listen to and just to really, again, soak in the different perspectives and ideas. Um, and they make really good sort of background things going on. I, I've learned that a lot of people play them in the background and just kind of let it happen. And then they will pick up little tips here and there. So probably not as involved or maybe 
actually, uh, you never know. Some people actually get pretty serious with their podcast listening. um, I I find myself every so often writing down notes from listening to podcasts too. But yeah, it's kind of really relate to that whole point of listening to what others have to say that enrich your own musicality and and being a musician in general. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And to the last point, listening to what other people have to say um, is just having community around you cheerleaders around you that are supporting your journey who are you know willing you to do better who are there when you need a bit of help who are there to give you advice and tips and I think one thing to think about when you're thinking about having a heart community around you is having lots of different people at different levels because everybody brings something unique to the table and just having a big lovely harp support network yeah you can play to them but you can talk to them share with them cry with them laugh with them it's really really important to have that I think I agree with you because I study with a private teacher and I don't interact with a lot of harp player physically Mm. around me there's not a lot that I know Um, but I am a member of how to harp and the biggest draw for me is the community aspect because harp mm. can be such a wear instrument to a point that you can feel isolating um, in, a, in a place where there might not be a lot of other harpists around you. So I have really enjoyed the opportunity to interact with others. Um, and when we come together in a session and we share sort of our questions and talk about things as a group, there's always something very interesting um, that I walk away with um, or I can help sometimes other people who maybe are learning and by sharing my experience. So I think having that network uh, is really an integral part in being a musician. Yeah, it's all about sharing at the end of the day, isn't it? So Mm. it's just, it makes it really important to have that community around you. Yeah. And uh, I am going to put some links into some of the podcasts and other things that we have mentioned and i'm also going to pop the link to how to harp for you to check it out um, because it is a one of a kind community mm-hmm. that you have built that i really enjoy and i am really enjoying the opportunities through your program too to enrich my mm-hmm. harp experience away from the harp there's also a lot of stuff that we spend <laughs> time on the harp but there's also a lot that we do away from the harp so i will put the yeah. links in the video description thank you thank very you much. so much